Welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial we're going to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. And we're going to look at it in a different um, way that maybe you're used to seeing it. Uh, in this uh, tutorial I want to show you how to learn all about the different uh, sections of the spectrum by using a pyramid. So here goes um, the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum are radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, uh, visible light, UV rays, we got x-rays, and then uh, gamma rays at the top. Um, here's how the pyramid works. As you go up the pyramid, the frequency and the energy uh, increases, but the wavelengths decrease. As you go down the pyramid, the frequency decreases. The energy of the waves decrease, uh, but the wavelengths increase. So here's some examples. Uh, we'll just use these questions to do that. Which wave has the highest frequency? So according to the pyramid, uh, the ones at the top, as you go up the pyramid, the frequencies increase. So the one at the very top of the pyramid are, are gamma rays. Uh, which wave has the lowest frequency? Well, frequency decreases as you go down the pyramid, so radio waves would have the lowest frequency. Which wave has the highest energy? The highest energy uh, would be at the top of the pyramid since frequency and energy go together. Uh, the ones with the most energy are at the top. So the highest energy would be gamma rays again. The way I remember it is think of the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk has lots of energy and gamma rays were uh, somehow involved in creating his uh, powerful uh, presence. Which wave has the lowest energy, or again, the lower energies are at the bottom of the pyramid, so that would be the radio wave. Which waves have, well, here's a uh, question between two different parts of the spectrum. Which wave has more energy, x-rays or microwaves? So again, as you go up the pyramid, the ones at the top have more energy and the ones at the bottom have less. So since x-rays appear at closer to the top, then microwaves in the winter here would be the more energy would be your x-ray now which wave has a higher frequency between x-rays and microwaves again the one energy and frequency go together so x-ray would be microwaves again so now are microwaves ever going to win one of these well let's see which wave has a bigger wavelength okay so as you go down the pyramid the wavelengths increase so radio waves be having the bigger wavelengths but between x-rays and microwaves, microwaves are closer to the bottom of the pyramid. So finally the microwaves win one of these questions. Now all EM waves travel at what speed? They travel at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And then does do EM waves need a medium to travel through space? And the answer to this question would be no. That's how the, the rays of the sun get to, to Earth in about eight minutes. So um, this is a quick review of uh, electromagnetic spectrum and how to use a pyramid to help you remember the difference between frequency, energies, and the wavelengths of each section of the electromagnetic wave. All the uh, tutorials by Longhorn Physics uh, are available um, in some kind of book format at a starstudyguide.com. It's S-T-A-A-R studyguide.com. There's uh, books for worksheets, very interactive. Uh, for example, this Physics 101. A lot of worksheets where you have to go through and practice all the units and know the uh, terminology. And then you finally get some uh, practice problems and it follows with a mini quiz. Uh, there's um, quite a few different types of physics books available at that website. If you feel that can that help you better, available in Kindle and by Amazon.